Tipping is probably the most hated part about going to the barbershop. Every time we make a video about tipping, you guys go crazy in the comments telling me how stupid and cringe it is. So we wanted to find out if our clients shared the same views about tipping and see what they really thought about it. So do you leave a tip everywhere you go? No, I don't, honestly. I guess it kind of depends. Um, It depends if they swing over the iPad or not. It's just like, you know, a store or something, then I right. obviously want to tip. I mean, does the, the, does the iPad get paid? Does the iPad receive the tip? What do you think tipping actually came from? I have no idea. I really have no idea. So I have no idea. Maybe I'm America because other countries don't accept tips. Well, let me tell you, tipping originated back in the 19th century as a way to show appreciation for good service. But employers use it as a way to exploit their workers and to keep their wages low. This has made tipping an everyday practice in American culture. It continued to thrive due to social pressure and cultural norms. Customers felt obligated to tip to avoid being perceived as cheap and rude. You don't care they'd count on your tips to live? Damn. Do y'all really feel like that? I feel like it's very common to feel pressured. When I was younger, I feel obligated to tip more. Uh, sometimes I do feel pressured. You know, have the iPad that they swing around. Tipping nowadays is seen as something you're expected to do. It's sad somewhere you were pressured to do so. So we want to talk to some of our barbers in the shop to hear what they think about tipping culture. Live at 12 Pell, we're going to ask them how they feel. Can you expect your clients to tip you? It's not mandatory, so it don't matter to me. Do you expect your clients to give you a tip? No. Do you expect your clients to give you a tip? Me? Hell yeah. If you feel like tipping, then that's cool. Tips are optional. I don't expect it, but it's nice when you receive it. How do you feel when a client doesn't tip you? I go home and I cry myself to sleep. You even gave a bad haircut. You, you might know, be whack. I might be whack. It's just a little painful. It just means that I didn't deliver what I was supposed to deliver. Can I do something wrong? And so do you think no. tipping should exist at all? To a certain extent. I think it should definitely exist. I think tipping should exist. You know, in our industry, our salary is not guaranteed. Bonus is always nice. It becomes like a fact check, you know what I mean? It's like feedback. You know, if you didn't get a tip, then you didn't do a good job. Now, tipping may vary from culture to culture. It is a way for one to recognize the exceptional service that was provided to them. Now, we do want to make this clear. Tipping is never required and it's always optional. So next time Lego Barber fucks up your cut, make sure you don't leave a tip and you curse him out.